one. Action. Hello everybody, my name is Bigpot and today I'm going to be doing another video on Linux, specifically on Manjaro. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing installation of Manjaro in a multi multi booted or dual booted environment. Specifically, we're going to be installing it with side by side with Windows. So, this is Manjaro Grub. If you have a, a driver that isn't free, so it's not free, which means NVIDIA driver or while the driver for older cards that didn't ship with kernel or had a free version you can enable non-free here and it will boot correctly but since we're in a, a kvm based virtual machine we can go with free now let's boot and let's begin shall we so as we see we are in a tiana core which means we are in a uf5 environment for uh, KVM virtual machines. Now, if, if this happens, this is a resolution problem. We can set it here. So this is Manjaro GNOME, and Manjaro has three main releases: Ma uh, Manjaro GNOME, XFCE, and KDE Plasma Five where the XFC is the main one. They also have their Architect install, about which you can find out more in my video series about Manjaro Architect. But they also have some community editions, which are managed by community and, and people inside Manjaro project. Uh, among those, you can count Awesome, Openbox, and i3, i3 being one of the most popular uh, installations of Manjaro, well, community installations for Manjaro. We can launch installer, and we can start. So, first off, it selects Slovenian language, we're gonna just switch to American English so you guys can understand more. We're gonna go next, next. This is time zone. Normally, it automatically selects your time zone. If it's wrong, you gotta select it yourself to the this uh, drop down menus now keyboard this is going to be different possibly different for everyone since you either have english default or your your languages but i have to select slovenian and next now there are two ways of multi boot installing if you already separate a space specifically for the the linux install while it's on the same drive this is the most common scenario. You you get some edits. You already freed the space, so you cannot go install alongside and click the empty space. So you have to manually partition. Next, and here you have the the empty space. I just create a partition with slash. But now here comes the kicker. Where among here is the slash boot slash iffy part i can tell you right now since i've watched the installation of uh, of windows i can tell you it's this one but if you're you can also be according following this this tutorial to do a boot with another version of linux let's say ubuntu arch fedora and they'll be a bit different but here you can find it as FAT32 file system based and it's 99 but since you're gonna be installing that you might actually be aware of which one it is so do, do a little bit of research it's already set to be bootable but we're gonna set slash boot slash EFI with OK and we can go next now installation continues but there is also another way so Guess what? Cut. And so we're back. Well, what we have here now is a bit different since before we had already pre preset uh, the space for the new operating system. Here we haven't. So now we can go with install alongside where we just select this partition and we can split it right down the middle 
or the other option is still manual partitioning, where you but first must edit the partition, smaller it, and then all that. So let's just make it so maybe let's say four forty thousand. And then you follow the procedure just as you would before. But let's go with the install alongside and let's leave it half half. And we're back where we were before cut. So now we set uh, the name, username, computer name. So You do not want to automatically log in. That's stupid. And we click next. Now we come to the next part of installation where it doesn't like matter really for this, but let's just go through the whole installation. So they, they allow you to select either no office with LibreOffice or free office. One of the latest features of Manjara. So we can go with LibreOffice. Here is a summary of the install. What will happen? Install, the installation starts. It will do the resizing of the partition, create a new partition, and do it. I would like to, I'd like to point you out as a note to something that you need to be aware of. If you, or if you were already in Windows, before booting into Linux, you might have a problem since Windows has sometimes trouble releasing drives. So you might might require additional steps in Windows to remove the drives, to, to release the drives. So you can actually work on them, like partition them and stuff. So you mention this procedure, just how I show it can be used on any any operating system can be, boot besides ubuntu besides fedora besides arch using these these uh, instructions so now, now let's wait for the for it to install. See you then. And installation is done. As it says, it's all done. We can stay in the live environment or we can click restart now and done. And it will automatically restart the system. And here we are. Manjaro bootload grab menu. Let's see, we have three options, Manjaro Linux, Advanced Options for Manjaro Linux, and Windows Boot Manager. If we select Manjaro Linux, it shall boot in it. And we're almost there. Yes, here we are. We sign in. It's the first install, first boot out of install, so it should could take some time. Let's just display settings. So, we will take a look at Manjaro 19.02 Kyria at a later date. So, thank you guys for because it will be the end of the season. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And oh, yeah, I'm now on the library for some, quite some time actually. You can find me uh, at the channel name BigBot.
where you can watch my videos if you do not want to watch them on YouTube. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hmm. Please remember subscribe, like, and comment, and follow if you if you're watching on LBRY, and don't forget use the use the best tool for your job not the one that follows philosophy goodbye